Thank you. So why do I do what I do? Uh, people ask me, what's your area of specialty? What is your industry that you specialize in? And it's hard to say because I really don't know very much about what people do. What I care about is how they do what they do. We are scientists of human relationships and human dynamics. So people ask, what industry do you specialize in? And I said, well, the industry that we really prefer is wherever two or more people are trying to get something done. I hope that applies to you. Now, if you were alone on a desert island, it really doesn't matter what your personality is or how you deal with conflict or what your preferences are or when you want to sleep, because you can do it however you want to. Get done whatever you want to, whenever you want to. But that's not the nature of the world that we live in. You're getting ready to go through a ton of change. Your change is happening all the time. And so today we're going to focus on change. And how do we become leaders of change? How do we become change agents for the people that work for us, the people that we work for, and the people that we work next to? I want to share with you, uh, Elisa said that I have three daughters. These are my angels. This is why I get up every day. How many of you have kids? Fantastic. How many of you were a kid? Okay, good. How many of you have people working for you that act like kids sometimes? Come on, raise your hand. You wouldn't be here if you didn't. Fantastic. So I'm not showing you these because I want to brag about my daughters, although I will today. And um, I'm showing you because we're going to talk about drama. And if you have kids, you know all about drama. Um, I'm going to tell you a couple stories about these kids because for most leaders, for most people, professionals working in the workplace, the most important relationships in their life are the ones at home, the ones, their spouses, their significant others, their children. And when we do work with executives, we may think we're doing leadership development or change management. And the first thing that people tend to respond to is the impact that it has on their personal relationships, because those are the ones that start and end the day. They're the ones that set the tone for everything. When I drop my youngest daughter off at school in the morning, her name is Asha, she's in sixth grade, and the cars are lining up on the street as fast as they can, you know that drop off lane? And we all have our windows rolled up so we can't hear what's going on in the car in front of us. But you know by just watching. <laughs> yeah, and the kid gets out and slams the door and they're like this walking into class or they're like doing something to their parents. And I watch this, this litany of drama unfolding at 7.50 in the morning. And so I have this dream. If we could change 6 a.m. to 7.50 in the morning, the relationships between parents and children, we could change the world. How many of those kids arrive in school feeling valued for who they are? I'm a good person. I'm smart. I can go learn. I'm well fed. I'm well rested. My parents love me for who I am. How many parents arrive at work feeling like a parenting machine? Well, I nailed that 90 minutes today. <laughs> Woo! They know who they are. They got a compass. They're ready to go. They want to go learn. No, we arrive at work kicking the cat before we've even got home from work. So here's the first opportunity for you to, for you to participate here. I'm curious. If, if we were going to be, uh, if you were laying on my psychological couch and we were going to do one of those... Uh, one of those word associations where I say a word and you say like my mom or whatever comes to your mind. Uh, when I say drama, what do you think of? Let's just yell out as many things as we can. When I say drama, you say? John Lopez. <laughs> John Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your poster child for drama? This is my job. Awesome. <laughs> Come on, we'll do some hypnotism or something later. When I say drama, what do you think of? Emotional. Emotional. What else? Wasted time. Wasted time. Can we add wasted energy too? What else? When I say drama. Irrational. Irrational. Draining. Draining. What did you say over there? No, I was agreeing with irrational. Irrational. Draining. What else? Bureaucracy. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. Non-productive. Non yeah. So with a person next to you, um, I've put some little notepads here on the table. And will you get with someone, one or two people next to you, and write down as many words that you can think of that come to your mind when you hear the word drama. 
And what I'd like you to do is only put one word on each sticky note. So here's our goal. That left sheet of paper up there, there's three, and that left sheet of paper, we're going to fill up with as many sticky notes as we can come up with, each one containing a word that comes to mind when we hear drama. Are you ready? All right, you have five minutes to have us come up with as many as you can. Get them up on the board over there. Have a good list. Someone from your team can go put them up on the paper there. Did anybody look at what other people put up while you were up there? Did you look at that list? That's a lot of stuff. So I'm curious. You said we can fill up all three sheets, but we chose to fill up only two. And we actually put one off the wall, <laughs> off the pages. I asked you to stick to one sheet, and you just okay. flat out violated my recommendations. I thought you said three, I'm sorry. No, I had, we're going to use the other one, but I'm going to have to add some more. That's all right. I know. Well, it's all right. Some of us do back there, right? Follow directions well. So eight years, about seven or eight years ago, October of 2008 is when we started Next Element. Anybody remember October of 08? World economy imploded. October was officially announced. This is the recession. We are full blown in a recession. So we formed Next Element in about June of that year with these grand plans. We bought the name and we filed with the state and it was all great and we're getting ready to launch. And all of a sudden things just started falling out from under us. And so 2008, we started a company delivering professional services at a time when everybody was cutting professional services. So we had to get real crystal clear about delivering value really quickly that had return on investment. And so this whole notion, when we go to a company in 2008, December, and say, we do soft skills training for companies, the word soft does not land real well in a company that's trying to cut costs. So we have dedicated our whole careers to putting tangible, observable, measurable metrics around soft skills because we know that they're important. This concept of drama, you feel it in your gut, but it's measurable. Those are real things up there. When we say time, you can measure that. When we say energy, you can feel that. When we say that we're wasting, why shouldn't we be able to look at that and understand it just the way we understand wasting paper or wasting money or wasting byproducts that we could have used differently?